Hello everybody, this is Dr. Novak. I wanted to show you something that's a little different. I'm going to show you the TDS of my tap water. And I don't know if you could see that very good, but the TDS of my tap water is 135. Parts per million. So that's my tap water. Now I'm going to check out the TDS of my aquariums that use the same tap water. Now this aquarium, the first aquarium we're going to check out is the Antique Aquarium. And this aquarium the only thing that's really in it for filtration is it uses a uh, BCB basket or biosynosis clarification baskets in case you're new to this channel. And all tanks are maintained the same. Well, some are fed twice a day, but we're going to check the TDS of this aquarium. And the TDS is 221. compared to the tap water. So it's higher than what the tap water is. That could be because of the uh, kitty litter that's being used, the brand new kitty litter here in this basket here, could be raising the TDS to 221, 220. So let's now go to the 90 gallon, which has been set up for more than a year and a half and see what the TDS is of that aquarium. Okay, here we are at the 90 gallon aquarium and we're gonna check the TDS of this aquarium. Let's see, 171. So the TDS of the 90 gallon is between 170 and 171 TDS total dissolved solids in this aquarium compared to the 135 that's out of the tap. Next, we're going to go check the goldfish aquarium. You see the difference between the two different aquariums? This 90-gallon aquarium that we're testing out here is uh, run with a plenum, and it's run with, of course, the uh, biosynosis clarification basket. So... That, uh, that adds two things to it for 171 TDS. But now let's go check out the goldfish aquarium in the Lanai. Okay, now we're going to check out the goldfish aquarium out in the Lanai. See what the TDS of this is. Turn it on. 190. Hmm. This is also running a plenum, and it's running the... Uh, BCB basket, or bags, I should say, inside of the main canister filter. Every aquarium has a different TDS, total dissolved solids. Now, let's go check the uh, Beta container and see what the TDS of that little fishbowl is. So here we are with the Beta and let's see what we can get here. The TDS, look at the TDS, over 601. 600 to 601. And I just did a water change on this yesterday. Took about a gallon and a half of water in and re poured it back in. 596. So look at that. And I just did a water change on this container. The container is still being broken in, but as you can see from the container, the algae that is in the container, the algae looks like it's starting to subside some, but if you look at it, it still has algae in it. But this is the one with no plenum. 
no BCB, and just using plain sand that I cleaned real good. And I'm still waiting to see if the algae is going to subside. In fact, like I said yesterday, I just did a water change on this particular fish container of a gallon and a half. And look what the TDS, how high it is for this aquarium that uses no plenum and no BCB baskets. So I just tested four different bodies of water from my tap water. Any of the aquariums that are using the plenum or BCB have a lower TDS than the fishbowl, if you want to call it a fishbowl, that I have with the bettas in it. That has a TDS of over 600. That's using solid sand, no plenum whatsoever, no BCBs or anything. It's basically just sand and whatever plants are in there. But the TDS is over 600. So that gives us, and, I, and if I did a gallon and a half, over a gallon and a half of water, that means there was about a half gallon left of water inside that container, you know, enough so the beta itself would be in water, and then I refilled it back up, of TDS of only 135. Something's making that TDS rise to over 600 compared to tanks that are using BCB baskets or BCB bags or tanks that are way over a year and a half old. Um, and their TDS is not as high. So their total dissolved solids are lower. So this could be telling us a few things. One, it could be telling us that the, the sand could be leaching something into where the bettas are. But I cleaned that sand real, real good. I mean, I cleaned it over a half hour, 45 minutes. I cleaned that sand real good to get any particular matter out of it. And me just doing a water change yesterday on it should have kept it, that TDS low. But going up to over 600 because I hear hobbies tell me that my TDS is real high, over 600. So what is causing that? Could it be the sand? Because after all, it has wood in it and uh, fish aren't being fed heavy. So what total dissolved solids are in that bowl, making it go over to over 600 total dissolved solids? Where in these aquariums of mine, that actually have bigger fish loads and everything, using a different kind of system, all the TDS is a lot lower, total dissolved solids. I noticed something that all the pH in all the aquariums, such as the Antique Aquarium, the Lanai Goldfish Aquarium, the 90-gallon aquarium, all the pH is the same. I didn't check the pH on the beta container, but... All those pHs are around the same with the TDS being what it is. So the TDS is higher than what's coming out of the tap. That could be because of any reason. Could be because of the food. Could be because of the substrate. Uh, the only thing I can think of that's adding more total dissolved solids in the aquarium itself or that fish beta container is the fact of it is that it really has no way of getting that TDS out of there. All you're using in that container is about five to six inches of sand placed directly at the bottom. The only time water moves through that freely is when I empty it, and I have a video on how I set it up. So when I hit the tap, water will go through the substrate. So it makes you kind of think, why is the TDS so much lower in the other aquariums and yet so much higher in that aquarium, which has no kitty litter in it at all? So a lot of people have said, oh, my TDS has went up since I start using the kitty litter. Um, 
that has no kitty litter in it. It has only sand where the other aquariums do have a lot of kitty litter in them with BCB bags or the baskets or even the plenums that are being used like in the 90 and the goldfish where the TDS is a lot lower. Now, I haven't done a water change on the 90 in two weeks because I have some little baby fish and I don't want to lower the water and maybe the baby fish get caught up in the moss that I have. So I'm letting it alone so the baby fish can get big enough so they can escape when the water goes down, can go into and not get trapped in that moss because they're, they're very small. It, it makes you kind of think, what's going on? Why is that bettable so high after taking one and a half gallons out of a two-gallon bowl? Why is it 600? What is sending it back up? It's got to be something either in the sand or it's not the plants. It's not the piece of driftwood that would raise the TDS, unless it is the driftwood, but it's got to be something raising the TDS of that that fishbowl, if you want to call it that, to unacceptable levels, where in all the aquariums that are using the anoxy filtration system have a lower TDS than that one. I guess I'm just doing this video for food for thought. Maybe if someone can come out with an idea, what is causing that TDS to go so much higher than the other? Now you may say, well, it could be the sand that's in the, you know, bedable. Well, okay, but there's more sand in the Lanai Goldfish Aquarium that's being used than there is in that bedable a lot more sand, over 60 pounds of sand. So is it the sand that I'm using? Different brand, maybe that's what's raising it. You see, you really don't know until you start testing out what is raising TDS to go over 600 after you just did a water change less than 24 hours ago. That's quite high, where... Uh, I did a water change on the Goldfish Aquarium Friday, and today is Tuesday. I did a water change on the Antique Aquarium Friday, and today is Tuesday. And you see where the TDS is at. That one, I just did a water change on it yesterday, less than 24 hours, and the TDS is over 600. I guess it's just food for thought that sometimes your total dissolved solids I think are going to be more dependent upon how you set up your aquarium to get rid of those total dissolved solids to keep them low for aquariums that aren't having all the water changes and for aquariums that do have water changes. And yet my tap water is only 135 TDS. So something is definitely raising that TDS and that goldfish bowl. Is it the sand? I don't know. The sand's been cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned. So if anything was in it, uh, is the sand literally breaking down? Well, sand doesn't really break down like that uh, because I'm using sand in the Lanai Goldfish Aquarium. That would break down also. It's, you know, so it, it's just, I guess, something to think about. If you have an idea or what you think could be raising the TDS, of the beta bowl compared to the aquariums is it because of the noxy filtration system tds is lower is it because of the filtration system itself cannot utilize any of the solids total dissolved solids that are in there i'm not impressed i'm not impressed in the least bit where the plant doesn't photosynthesize as well as the plant that's in pure 100% baked kitty litter with, in an open cell basket. I'm not seeing the big, huge, why are hobbyists doing it? Where I could say, yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful. 
And I'd like to say that because it's dirt with lots of nutrients. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just not seeing it. And I've been rotating plants around. It's not impressive to me to, to see that because I planted it up the way you would do it in your aquarium. Not where the basket that's open cell is allowing nutrients and ions to come into it easier and better and oxygen to come to the other plant. Now, that could be another thing. The open cell is allowing oxygen to come into where the basket is, where the one in the clay pot, it's not. The only way oxygen is going to get in there is either the plant does it or it goes in through the top or bottom through the fusion. But the fusion can be very slow. Uh, convection action, percolation action, all this could be very slow depending. Convection is only going to happen if you're going to use heat or something to exchange something. Um, so if you're talking about diffusion, diffusion can be very, very slow. And I'm not seeing the progress that I'd like to see because I was really trying to find out whether or not it is wise to even make an aquarium with dirt. I'm not seeing the benefit. And I use dirt that has a lot of nutrients in it, where you talk about a lot of people, they clean their dirt first before they use it. I used it with all the nutrients that are in there. So anyhow, I did want to show you that. Leave a comment below on what you think about the TDS and what's going on with all these different aquariums. Why maybe that uh, Beta one is so high. Is it maybe the uh, sand? Could that be breaking down and making that TDS go to 600? Could be a possibility. I don't know. I haven't tested it. Anyhow, until next time, this is Dr. Noack. I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe below.